Aces, Corey Sandhagen, TJ Dillashaw. I think Sandhagen's going to KO him in round one. I don't see a way that TJ Dillashaw wins this one after a very long layoff of two and a half years. He's going in there against Corey Sandhagen, who's been absolutely on fire in the first round recently. Like, will kick KO over Marlon Marais, flying the over Frank. Guys, we are back. Doing a fight recap for Corey Sandhagen versus TJ Dillashaw. Uh, obviously, you look at the first clip I showed of the MMA guru. And he is talking reckless in the main event. Uh, something that he is not a stranger to. Okay, I've been watching MMA Guru for the longest time. Uh, and he's gotten a lot of big fights wrong. Um, for some reason, even even in the, the Rose Namajunas fight against Wei Li Zhang, he was saying that Wei Li Zhang was going to dominate her. She was too strong. She was better on the feet. She has too much power. She has this. She has that. Rose goes out there and starches her and like fucking like in no time. No time. Fucking starches her with a fucking head kick. And I said Rose was going to fucking win. I'm in his comment section saying Rose is going to win. I'm in his fucking chat box saying Rose is going to win. And, you know, anytime someone goes against him, he'll call them like a, you know, a fanboy or he'll call them a casual or he'll, he'll do certain things. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm a fan of MMA, MMA guru, but he gets a lot of high profile fights wrong. I don't know. Maybe he's just, maybe he's just like, he's got his head too deep into these fucking prelims, right? Maybe he's like looking at the prelims, like, you know, like they're major fucking fights and he's trying to get all these fights like fucking correct but he's like missing he's like missing on the biggest fucking fights that's like for all my americans out there that's like fucking winning in the preseason of football it's like winning in the preseason and the first fucking 10 games of the season uh the regular season and then all of a sudden you get to the playoffs and you get to the fucking super bowl and you fucking lose those games like how does that fucking work how does that work so, anyway, like I said, he's talking reckless, saying that TJ is going to get knocked out in the first round. Um, that's crazy to me because you look at my prediction, you look exactly at my prediction and what I what I said and exactly what I said happened. I said it's going to come down to the third and fourth round decisively, right? I thought TJ was going to get the TKO because I knew Corey was going to get tired. I, I just had that feeling that Corey was going to get tired. And in that third and fourth round, you see Corey Sanhagen start throwing jabs out there, and he's just doing lazy jabs. TJ's get, uh, getting, uh, you know, he's getting looks, and he's getting better counters than Sanhagen is. So I don't know what's going on with the MMA community right now, but it's all over the fucking place. Then you got, then you got the weasel making a robbery video talking about how how the fight with um with tj and Corey was down to like that fifth round and then he gave the fifth round to Corey sandhagen and then he said yeah the fight was absolutely a robbery then he's on twitter talking about you know what no tj won the fight he won the fight or whatever it's like guys pick a fucking stance and like sit on that stance like even if you're on the losing side just be on the fucking losing side like i'm on the winning side right now but like I could easily make a wrong prediction and like say, hey, I fucked up the prediction, right? But these guys are like way the fuck off, way off. Now, to be fair, MMA Guru said that there is a chance that TJ wins this fight. Obviously, fucking, yeah, there's a chance that it might fucking rain tomorrow, okay? What's like, obviously, they're, they're, they're the best fighters at 135. Oh, of course, one of them may win, one of them may lose. That's like one of the stupidest statements you could say, you know? So it's, it's, it's so fucking weird to me. But anyway, you got the weasel, got the MMA guru, and then Jesse on fire, right? He makes an Instagram post. He's like, Corey Sanhagen is a gangster. You know, I'm rocking with him tonight. Doesn't make a prediction video. Cannot stop talking about Joshua Fabia, fucking uh, Diego Sanchez's, you know, ex-coach or whatever. That's all this guy's been talking about. Doesn't do a prediction video. Doesn't do anything. 
and then all of a sudden makes an Instagram post, like 18 second, 20 second Instagram post. Oh, t uh, Corey Sandhagen's a gangster. Look at his back tattoo. You won't see him coming, this and that. I'm rocking with Corey Sandhagen tonight. What the fuck is that? People are getting fucking lazy on these predictions. They're not taking them serious. And everyone sees right through this shit. Everyone sees right through this shit, okay? Step this shit up because I'm stepping my fucking channel up. I'm coming for all of you fucking predictors or whatever the fuck you want to call it, okay? Because I'm winning bet slips out here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm fucking winning bet slips. I'm getting the right predictions and my channel's fucking growing. Yeah, I'm a small channel right now, but guess what? I'll fucking be where I want to be in about a year. Give me a fucking year, couple of months, eight months, whatever. I'll be where I want to be. And then we're going to have a different conversation. I guarantee you we'll have a different conversation at that point. But that's just based on all the predictors right now. I had to call them out. I had to call them out. And again, I'm fans of these guys. The Weasel, he's a little bit of a fucking hot and cold character. But Jesse on Fire, I'm a fan. I'm subscribed to both of his channels, uh, Jesse on Fire and Jesse on Everything. I like him. Same thing with Guru, the MMA Guru. I'm fucking subscribed to him. I'm in his club. I'm all I'm I'm all in. I want these guys to do well, but they're getting fucking lazy on these big fights, and they're fucking going along with the hype, talking about oh Corey Sanhagen looks invincible. Corey Sanhagen's knocking out people left and right. He's he's doing this, you know, back to back KOs. Don't get fucking caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the hype. You know T what TJ Dillashaw is capable of. I told you what he, exactly he was going to do. I said he was off for two years. He's going to re he's going to reimagine. He's going to redo his game to compete with the best of the division. He's that type of competitor, guys. He's he has that Tom Brady mentality. Okay, he does not he does not come to fights and do anything just to do them. Like he is he's a competitor of the highest degree. He's going to change his game if he needs to change his game. He's going to do things differently if he needs to do things differently. I told you he was going to mix in the, the, the wrestling. I told you he has the, the, the wrestling in his arsenal. That he's going to be able to wear down Sanhagen. I told you he's going to hit him with the leg kicks. He hit him multiple times with the leg kicks. Guys, I told you exactly what was going to happen. I did not know. Now, here's the thing. I said it, it could go to a decision and I could see a split decision. I did get that prediction correct. But again, my main prediction, slightly wrong. Again, I'm saying, yes, I said TJ Dillashaw was going to win. You know, I did not know it was going to be by decision fully. I thought it was going to just be third, fourth round TKO. But hats off to, to Corey Sandhagen. He's a he's a tough guy. You know, he's a, he's a tough fucking guy. He stood in there. Great show of respect between both fighters. Um, I'll even tell you my round breakdown. So... Everyone should be on board with these rounds right here. The, the, these should be the rounds, absolutely. You should not, we should not be debating about these rounds. Round one went to TJ Dillashaw. We, we have to agree there. Round one went to TJ. Round two went to Corey. And round three went to TJ. If you do not agree with that, we have no business talking right now. There's no business for you to leave a comment. There's no business for you to fucking debate on this. This is like, this is a hundred percent. We're all unanimously, even fucking the weasel, even fucking MMA guru, even Jesse on fire. We probably all agree that TJ won the first, Corey won the second, and then TJ won the third. Everyone is debating the fourth and fifth rounds. That's really what it's coming down to. Okay. I can see the argument to give Corey the fourth round. I may have given Corey the fourth round, but it's it's really fucking tough. That fourth round was really fucking close. Then you have the fifth round where I would just say that like in the, in those final moments, like TJ just wanted it more. Like he was just so, he was being so aggressive, pushing the pace, throwing those leg kicks, throwing the jabs, just didn't give a fuck, dominated. First of all, no one talks about TJ dominating the center of the ring he had ring control uh, 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 he had octagon control the entire time almost the entire time it wasn't until maybe the second round 
to like third and fourth where Corey was starting to, you know, put, put the pressure on TJ a little bit. But for the most part, TJ was pressuring. He was coming forward. He was the aggressor. He was, even though he couldn't take Sanhagen down a lot of those times, he was still getting his back, like getting his back. That's a dangerous position. I don't know why so many people think that just because like someone has your back, you can scramble out of that. Like that's still a dangerous fucking spot. Like TJ is the best in the world. He's one of the best in the world. I mean, he, this is a former champion. You give this guy your back, like you're in danger. You're fucking in danger. So I don't know. People need to fucking realize what's going on. Uh, I, I like the inverted triangle by fucking, you know, Corey Sanhagen. That was really cool. I really thought that that was going to like, I was, I was actually pretty nervous when I saw that inverted triangle. I was like, shit, like I might lose this fucking bet. Like, like TJ might lose here. Uh, a couple of the flying knees that glanced and may have hit TJ worried me a little bit, but I said TJ's durability, you know, he, he is a veteran. He has wrestling. He's been there. He has the experience. He's going to do this to, to Corey Sandhagen. And people thought I was fucking joking. People thought I was fucking joking about this. So there you go. It's, it's proof. The proofs, uh, you know, in the videos, uh, I showed you exactly what, what was going to happen. It happened. Um, yeah. So let's see, let's see where it goes from here. Let's see what these guys say. I'm very interested. I want to know if they're going to say anything. They're probably not because I'm a smaller channel and they probably won't say anything at all. They're probably just going to brush it off like they always do. Like the weasel always fucking brushes it off. That's why he's called the weasel MMA because he brushes things off. Um, but Guru, like I said, I'm a fan. Let's see if he responds. I used him. I used his prediction because he was talking fucking reckless. Uh, Jesse on fire. Let's see if he stops talking about Joshua Fabia and he starts he starts getting on these predictions a little bit more, you know? So we'll see what happens. But anyway, much love to the MMA community. Uh, great fight between these two. Great comeback win for TJ Dillashaw. Guys, I apologize about the uh, fight companion. I don't know why I couldn't stream it on YouTube. They were being, uh, they were being, they were being the worst when it came to it. I had to like wait 24 hours and I don't know what was going on. So I did the entire Fight Companion live on my Instagram, Josh underscore Perot. Give it a follow. It's the first video. I did the entire Fight Companion um, from start to finish of the uh, the co-main and the main event. So you guys can check that out on my Instagram. For some reason, YouTube's not letting me do the streams. So we will do the streams eventually. We'll do more Fight Companions um, and we'll, we'll go from there. So guys, like, comment, subscribe for more content. I got a lot more coming out. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video.